Hi. I feel like I should probably address the part of the last video um, where it was me talking about something, you know, giving commentary, saying really funny jokes probably, but you didn't hear that audio. Instead, you heard uh, something similar to a slightly stupid instrumental playing loudly for about two and a half minutes, uninterrupted. Again, footage of me talking, none of that audio was used and it was just a slightly stupid instrumental. People were wondering, was this intentional? Did he mean to do this? Is this some kind of, you know, art piece? What is this? Avant-garde YouTube? Okay, my explanation. Now that that is out of the way and all your curiosities have been addressed, it's time to pop back onto the subreddit and see what's going on. We got 87 people choding right now with me. In the AI video that I made, I had a lot of comments, probably the majority of the comments were about how in the Chad version of myself, I said his name was Chad Cody and I didn't call him Chody. And that is my mistake. I apologize for that. Or do I? Maybe that was also intentional. Hmm. Maybe that was also a little art piece. Maybe this is how I view YouTube now. YouTube to me is like when Shia LaBeouf made those videos on the green screen where he was like, do it! And you're like, what the fuck it? That's how I view this stuff now, you know? I just wanna confuse people. Ah! What about that? What was that all about? Who knows? Why did I do that? Don't know. It's a statement about something. Is he making music now on the on this video? What's he doing? I don't know. I like to keep you guessing. Never let him know your next move. <laughs> What's he got a screw loose? Why's he got a screwdriver right there? Just random like that. You never know what you're gonna get with me. And that's why this is the greatest second channel on earth. I don't know what the fuck is happening, dude. I just took an hour long nap. I feel weird. Shanghai, China, office outdoor seating, blasting some TMG. No way. <laughs> Okay, hey, shout out to Shanghai. We get comments all the time, come to Shanghai. All the time. It's nice to know that we have a fan base there. We'll get our agents to route a tour through there or something. Cody has inspired my husband to start training, but now I have to see both their sweaty titties while they're running. This is a Snapchat he's sending you? Just saying my name? Well, hey, I'm flattered. I'm honored that I'm the reason you get to see a picture of your boyfriend's titties. I'm glad that my name is the one that's written above your boyfriend's titties. Husband, sorry, husband, my bad. Hell yes, props to your boyfriend. I'm on day 33 of running in a row today, inspired by Cody's video and also seeing Charlie working out too. Easily one of the best ways I've improved my well-being. Oh, hell yeah. Damn, seven and a half miles average daily, sheesh. Let's go. Fuck yeah, I'm impressed, nice work. I love hearing shit like this, it really makes my day. I saw one comment on the last Team G episode and it was like, we don't give a fuck about Cody trains. And I was like, fuck. That shit bums me out when you like start something new and then someone's like, we don't give a fuck about this. Bring back that's cringe. And but then you see a comment like that as like, okay, no, there are people that care about this shit and it is having an effect. So that's what that's what I try to focus on, so thank you. All right, let's see what's popping top of the week to ya. I'm sorry, but what the fuck is this? What do you mean, that's me? What, this is a picture of me and Kelsey? What's weird about it? Scissors. <laughs> Random. <laughs> Art. Exactly. Do it! <laughs> it's so fucking funny. <laughs> It's so funny. All right, I will. I know I I know I messed around in the beginning, but I will say it wasn't intentional. It was a fuck up with the YouTube editor. Kenny, my producer came up to me after or like after I recorded the podcast. He's like, "Dude, what happened? What did you do to the video?" Look at it. It's just two and a half minutes of music and I opened it and I have never laughed so hard in my life about one of my own videos. And I was like, 
Like, we're keeping it. It's so funny. And this is the confusion in the comments of people being like, what the fuck? What is this? I just thought it was so funny. And then I showed it to Kelsey and she cried laughing. And I was like, it's funnier than anything I would have said. So I'm keeping it in. I gotta thank the sponsor of this video, guys, SeatGeek. You know them, I love them. If you don't already know, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets to live events super simple. I've got the app on my phone and I use it all the time. It's by far the best way to buy tickets. Let's see what I'm gonna go to next. A lot of football going on. Lakers games. Uh, Panic at the Disco? Yeah. Concerts, football, baseball, basketball, or more. SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web in one place to make buying simple. So many amazing tours going on right now. Post Malone, Lil Nas X, Jack Harlow, Steve Lacey, and more. And you can get tickets for all of those on SeatGeek. And they want to make sure that you're getting a good deal. So they provide a map of the, you know, of the venue right there. And the green dots mean you're getting a good deal. Red means you're not getting a good deal. So look for the green dots. A little tip. And you can add my code, CodyCo, for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first order with SeatGeek with the promo code CodyCo. Just hit the link in the description to download the app. And thanks again to SeatGeek. Now back to the Reddit. Can't wait for Cody to hit his goal for Cody Trains to become one with the trains. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, why is it so big? Oh my God. Hello, I am Cody Trains. I fucking love this. Why does it look like I have Ronald McDonald tatted on me though? Or Robin Hood or some shit. And my nipples are not that big. I have small classy nipples. These are like the end of a goddamn whoopee cushion. This is very Meat Canyon-esque. Very Meat Canyon-esque. Wow, took the words out of my mouth. Nice work. Love it. Cody's head looks photoshopped onto his body in this thumbnail. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Cody's newest video on Cody and Co plays a royalty-free song for a full two plus minutes. <laughs> like the fact that it's like over two minutes, it's so egregiously long. How could the YouTube editor fuck it up that bad? Like remove that feature, YouTube. It doesn't fucking work. Suze, if you're watching, take it off. Doesn't work. Although maybe it does work because again, it's so funny. I thought someone hacked my AirPods at the gym until I read the comments. <laughs> I didn't even think of that, that people that are listening on headphones must have thought that they had like another tab open or something. <laughs> Get pranked! Get pranked, losers! Fuck, it's so funny. Maybe he just created a new video genre. <laughs> Fuck, should I start a channel where it's commentary with music over it so you can't hear any of the commentary? Damn, I really want to do that now. Cody's AI looks such like Germa985 and would behave the same. Who is Germa? He's a big ass streamer, I guess. That's cool. Shout out Germa. I've never appreciated the effort that went into something so much. The writing, the callbacks, the old videos, the wild pre and post work. That must have been done on this and then also never wanted to see anything like this ever again. So much, so much, never. <laughs> Thank you. That's exactly what my intention was with that. I appreciate that some people enjoyed that video. I really liked making that video. I just know now that videos like that aren't gonna get as many views, but I'm totally fine with it, honestly. I really enjoy making stuff like that. And I was messing around with AI so much, it's more, I wanna do things I enjoy and then find a way to like craft content content around those things. Cause that makes it more fun. And it's like, I'm already doing the work. So I might as well figure out how to make a video out of it. You know, I was already fucking around with AI just cause I was interested in it. And then I was like, oh man, I should like, I should write something around this. And so that really made it fun for me to make that video. And that's, that's fine. I, I have an idea for another one that, you know, who knows, I, eventually I'll find the sweet spot again with stuff that actually makes me that stuff that I actually enjoy making and stuff that gets a lot of views. Uh, I'll find that on the main channel again. I'm sure I will. I just gotta, you know, keep making stuff that I like, you know, but it feels good, you know? All right, 24 battery, Paris series, Fat Boy Alliance, Fuse Clapton's, 2436, a little juicy. It's a little, little fire going on there. Inhale, everybody wanted to see it work, so. I don't want, I just, don't inhale it, please. For the sake of your lungs, don't do it. He's gonna do it, don't do it, he's gonna do it. Here we go. Oh yeah. We're all playing. That is sick, dude. Did you see that TikTok of that dude? I don't, fuck, I, I do have the link, I believe. He's like, dude, imagine blowing O's to this song. And it's like some drum and bass song. He's like, mm, mm. And he's like, ooh, mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs>
<laughs> I can't really do it justice, man. Let's see. Yes! Oh, this might get me copyrighted, Zade, so we might have to. Imagine blow nose to the song, though. Hello, Gritty, mid-elbow out. Bring it around town. <laughs> funniest TikTok. It's the funniest one. POV, your Cody shopping is decorations. What? <laughs> what? That's not, that's not true. What are you talking about? That's not true at all. I'm sorry. I'll find another place for this fucking setup so it looks better in the background. I just got a million wires and shit connected into this, so it's hard to move. Why doesn't Cody ever talk about the fact that he used to hang out with a hugely known DJ called Getter? Yeah, what do you mean? It's, we, we shot a whole fucking show together. He's still my friend, although we haven't talked in a while, but shout out to Getter. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I had a blast with this one. God, I love this channel. I truly do. I'm going to be posting more on this channel. Just a lot of shit, honestly. Just stuff like this, like... Not every day, but like every couple days, we'll see. So if you're excited for that, let me know. Kind of crunch a like on this one. And thank you so much. I don't know when this goes up, but it'll be in a couple days. So my new song, Knock It Off Space Rangers Remix, is out now on Spotify. Go listen to that, and I'll play it as the outro music right now. Psych. Gotcha again. No, this is actually it right here. Knock it off, racism, knock it off, bigotry, knock it off.